Montreal Startup Weekend, High Score House gets some cash to pay the mortgage, and I interview Max Marty, co captain of Blue Seed, the startup ship. We're here via webcam with Montreal Startup Weekend co founder Harry. Hi, Harry, how's it going? Hi, Christina, uh, it's doing great. So, we're one week to go. Is everything all set up? It's a little bit chaotic, you know. We have uh, we are four co-organizer. Uh, we have sixty volunteers, and then there is uh, lots of things to do uh, left and right. But right. Uh, it's uh, shaping up very well. What about sponsors? I heard you did very well in terms of sponsorship. Yeah, so we have uh, Fasken Martino, which is a mm -hmm. law firm here. Uh, uh, well, actually, it's one of the biggest law firms in Canada. We have the BDC. Um, Real Ventures, uh, which is based here in Montreal, they are also doing Founder Fuel, and um, we have, of course, uh, Ashley Memorial, the business school. They have a great space, so we're very excited. And I heard that you're giving away some exciting prizes as well. Almost twenty-five thousand in uh, dollars in in prizes equivalent. Um, there is a development agency from Toronto. They are giving almost ten thousand dollars. That's in Septive wow. Solutions. Yeah. There are lots of other prizes in design. Um, support, legal, accounting. We're looking forward to covering Start Weekend, so we'll see you there. But before we go, we've got two free tickets to give away. And this one is only for you, ladies. So we're looking for one entrepreneur and one designer type. And all you got to do is tweet why you'd like to go to Montreal Startup Weekend, hashtag VCTV. So good luck, ladies, and hope to see you there. Then thanks so much, Harry. It was great chatting with you. We'll see you in a week. Thanks, Christina. All right. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Bye. They always say, don't bribe your children to do chores, but sometimes a parent's got to do what a parent's got to do. So Kyle Seaman, co-founder of High Score House, has created a site where children can earn points for chores and later redeem them for ice cream for breakfast or bungee jumping. They just completed Dave McClure's 500 Startups Accelerator Program and cleaned up house in an angel round. We are here via Skype with one of the co-founders of Blue Seed. Blue Seed is the rebel of Silicon Valley, and I'm here with Max Marty. Hi, Max. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Thanks for joining us tonight. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, uh, my name is uh, Max Marty, and I am, like you just mentioned, one of the co-founders of Blue Seed. I uh, originally come from Miami, Florida. And uh, I moved out to the Bay Area a couple of years ago to start on a separate uh, organization called the Seasteading Institute. And uh, back in August, I uh, and my co-founder, we left that institute and created uh, Blue Seed. So what is Blue Seed? So Blue Seed is a visa-free startup incubator for high-tech companies from around the world. So what that means is that you can come here and work uh, on the ship, create your, uh, your startup, uh, grow it, uh, interact and collaborate with all other sorts of uh, startups and innovators in our space. And um, you can do this all without needing a visa that you would otherwise need if you were doing this inside the U.S. All right. So how are you making this happen? So it takes a lot of uh, work from a lot of different fields. Nothing like this has ever been done before. Uh, of course, you have uh, the cruise line industry, which is uh, used to uh, housing uh, thousands of people actually in a vessel on the oceans. Right. You have um, you have uh, incubators and technology uh, 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 office buildings that have a lot of startups that are in Silicon Valley, but you don't have any specific space where you have a lot of people both living and working in the ocean on companies. Now you mentioned that there'll be people on board. Uh, this whole village. What's the revenue model for you? So we're going to be charging uh, rent is uh, one of the big components. And the other component is that all of the startups and uh, all of the entrepreneurs on board will be required to uh, give us a certain equity position in their company. How long before the ship sets sail? The ship will, optimistically speaking, uh, if we're able to charter a vessel instead of having to buy it, if we have to do less work on it, um, our optimistic projections are about a year and a half from now. And uh, if we end up uh, on the other side of that spectrum, if we end up uh, having to uh, build a ship or, or a barge essentially from scratch, a barge is just a ship without an engine. Uh, if we have to have, end up having to build one of those to, to meet our specifications and what we're really looking for for our, our, our ecosystem, 
another thing sort of slow down the process it could take it could take two and a half instead of a year and a half well it's been really exciting speaking with you thanks for taking the time tonight and i will wish you bon voyage thanks thanks very much and thank you for visiting vctv and come back again real soon <clears throat>